Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're doing the Extended European Outlook for today's second video. So uh, this, as uh, always, on a Wednesday is your 30-day uh, slash 42-day uh, European Extended Outlook. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video is there as our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And we're going to be doing a video upload for our 10 to 14 day today. We would normally be live streaming are at 10 to 14 there on a Wednesday, but uh, the live stream is pushed back to tomorrow. So um, we will be live streaming our 10 to 14 day tomorrow. Oh, Gav's birthday. You can do a birthday live stream um, one off on a Thursday. Uh, we will have the third sneaky peeky for Christmas uh, 2024 coming up for you this evening as well around 7 8 p.m. Something like that. Well, about 7 p.m. Um, so please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Stop there. Thank you. Right, well, we're going to start off with week one. Mean sea level pressure anomaly for your bow. Well, thank you so much, ECMWF.INT, for supplying the charts of data as well, by the way. Right, week one, mean sea level pressure anomaly for the 14th, 21st of October. Plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic, but there's a ridge over across uh, northern and eastern uh, parts of Europe. So between the two, we're drawing up wind on a southerly direction uh, across much of Europe. Hence, it's going to be a pretty mild, or it is a pretty mild or warm week this week. 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic of North Pole view down, look like that. Plenty of low pressure again in the Atlantic, but high pressure dominating across uh, many parts of Europe. And again, we draw up the wind from that southerly direction. Goodness gracious me. So it's uh, significantly uh, mild average week, even warmer than average week uh, across many parts of uh, Europe this week. A little bit on the chilly side over on the eastern side of Europe, anywhere from about um, eastern Poland eastwards to the Black Sea, looking uh, rather cooler than average or colder than average. And also a little bit on the cold side down across southern parts or cool side across southern parts of Spain and Portugal. They're the exceptions, but most parts of Europe actually coming out with above average temperatures. And the core of that is like through France into Germany and the low countries and also up across uh, Norway and Sweden where we have temperature anomalies of three to six degrees uh, above average. So a very mild, if not a warm week to come across those areas. And uh, other parts of northern and central western Europe per uh, seeing the temperature of a temperature anomaly about one to three degrees above average. So uh, a very, very mild week there, or a warm week for large portions of Europe. East-West split for precipitation. So uh, we see wetter than average conditions here for the UK and for Ireland. Also extending to the low country, particularly through France, and especially through the south of France, exceptionally wet through there. Spain and Portugal also coming out west of an average. A little bit drier around the Balearic Island. Perhaps a bit drier from the uh, shadow of, uh, of um, uh, eastern Spain there. And then uh, we find wet and average conditions again through Corsica, Sardinia, extending in towards Italy and over the Adriatic, just to the uh, Adriatic shores of the Balkans. So, uh, again, we see uh, pretty wet conditions through there. Not wet everywhere, though. Where it's cooler, it is also a little bit drier as well. So, the southeastern corner uh, looking quite dry. Romania and going down in towards um, Greece and Turkey. A bit drier through there. And also into the east of the northeast. The Baltic Sea states, for example, of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. All coming out a little bit drier than average this week. OK, week two will be the 21st to 28th of October. Quite a significant change as low pressure then goes uh, to the north towards Greenland and Iceland. And uh, high pressure takes over uh, across large parts of Europe, especially through central and western areas. The 500 millibar height is normally looking like that. So you see the below average heights, below pressure being pushed away towards Green Iceland. Many parts of Northern and also Western Europe finding themselves under uh, a large area of high pressure next week. The temperature anomaly is still above average, especially so in the North and in the Western Europe. But it is cooler 
over on the eastern and southeastern side of Europe, particularly uh, high temperature anomaly there in sort of Arctic portions of um, Scandinavia, Nordic regions, so like northern Sweden, northern Norway, northern Finland, north, the far northwest of Russia, coming out 3 to 6 degrees above average through there, and widely through West Europe, including Ireland, the UK, much of France, and low country, Belgium, Belgium, Netherlands, into Germany, uh, we find the temperature at around 1 to 3 degrees above average, and up into southern portions of the Scandinavian peninsula. Down to Spain and Portugal next week, uh, the temperature anomaly isn't as high, but it's still a little bit above average. It really is just in the southeastern corner from the age after the Black Sea that we find cooler than average conditions um, next week. And precipitation-wise, well, it's significantly drier, especially so across western portions of Europe, where it's uh, uh, really quite wet. This week, it turns much drier next week. But really, to be honest, most parts of Europe look pretty dry there. We've just got Norway standing out with above average precipitation. The far southeastern corner of Spain and sort of North Africa just about fringing into the southern shores of the Mediterranean, a little bit wetter through there. But most there is coming out uh, drier than normal next week. Week three will be the 28th of October, 4th of November. High pressure remaining in control of the weather across the north and west, west Europe. The position just changing very subtly, though. Possibly start allowing something a little bit colder, I think, in some of these northern and uh, northwestern portions of Europe. Maybe we'll confirm that in a moment. Precipitation-wise, we see above-average heights, again, extending through the north and the west Europe. But again, could that bring the wind in to that uh, northeasterly direction? It's a possibility. Total knowledge, yes, becoming significantly cooler. Look at this, big change from week two to week three. So my interpretation was right, <laughs> thankfully. So uh, instead of all that warmth, we find below-average temperatures there. Taking us into the start of November, cold and average through uh, France, down to Spain, Portugal, much of Germany, the Low Countries, Poland, even east was about in toward parts of Ukraine, for example, a little bit on the colder than average side. Even into the far south and southeast of England, a little bit colder than average there, with near normal temperatures for um, the rest of the UK and into Ireland. So above average for uh, northern parts of Scandinavia and Nordic regions, so it's still slightly above average through Norway and towards Sweden and also Finland as well. And in this extreme southeastern corner, slightly milder than average condition through there. And precipitation wise, it's uh, pretty wet through southern and southeastern parts of Europe with above average rainfall through the Mediterranean, up towards the Adriatic, into the Balkans, to the Black Sea, and then down towards Greece and Turkey. Meanwhile, in the north and the west, we see drier than average conditions in many places. Week 4 is before to be 11th of November. So, it looks like high pressure is weakening then, but still some high pressure close to the UK and Ireland, and more over the far eastern side of Europe. Could the high pressure just be generally breaking down a little bit and allowing lower pressure through? Let's put in a question mark and see what the 500 millibar height anomaly is showing. So, that showed the high pressure sort of pulling out into the Atlantic. Uh, it, there is some high pressure to the far north, north uh, west of Russia as well. The suspicion would be, I think, that there's going to be a trough through here and like a dip in the jet stream. So let's have a look at the temperature anomaly anyway. And it still looks pretty cool across western parts of Europe. Weekly seal, of course, will be four weeks out, but still um, rather below average temperatures into the UK, possibly Ireland as well. Low countries, Germany, France, down to Spain, Portugal, and into central bowl of there, uh, a little bit on the cooler than average side through there. Uh, across uh, Scandinavia, again, it's uh, largely milder than average, though. Uh, Modern average condition continue there, and down towards Greece and around the Black Sea as well, something a little bit warmer through those regions. Precipitation wise, weakening signal as ever for week four, but uh, we do see something a bit drier here across western parts of Europe, perhaps. Right, that is your uh, first day. Okay, done. But let's go through weeks uh, five and six before we go, because why not? Charts are there, so you might as well, might we? Week uh, five will be the 11th to the 18th 
of November. So more changes now. We've got low pressure in the far northeast Europe, otherwise not much of a signal. Uh, the 500 millibar heights look like that. So some above average heights around Greenland and a trough in close to Finland. Um, otherwise, quite a weak signal, some high pressure down across the far south of Europe then. And as well as temperature levels of concern, a little bit on the mild average side across the northwest Europe again, so a bit of a pickup in the temperature perhaps there, but it is quite a weak signal. And precipitation wise, very, very weak signal, looks wettest perhaps over on the eastern side of Europe. And then last, lastly, week six will be the 18th, 25th of November. And that week shows a ridge building through uh, the western portion of Europe. That's probably going to be quite a mild ridge, so starting to drag the wind back up from the south and from the southwest. The 500 millibar heights shows that ridge through the west of Europe and down into North Africa. So you would suspect we're going to draw the wind up in a southerly direction there. Uh, that could be uh, a very mild end to November, although the temperature only doesn't really show anything particularly unusual at this stage. And precipitation-wise, very weak signal. They can't glean much information. Right, that's your first day. Look, I've done. That's just a snapshot of what Molly's showing today. Could look completely different when we look at it again with the UK and Ireland focus video on Saturday, and indeed with the next extended European outlook, which we will be releasing next Wednesday, of course. If you've enjoyed the forecast, please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to be back with your 10 to 14 day event. That could be a video rather than a live stream. Uh, the midweek live stream is tomorrow for Gav's birthday. And uh, the third um, Sneaky Peaky for Christmas will be released at 7pm as well. So a busy old day of content up the channel today. Keep taking back for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.